Uh, I work with Dr. Kofo Agiankin. Uh, he's an associate professor at the Feinberg School of Medicine uh, in the cardiology department, and we use echocardiography to uh, look for early diagnostic and non-invasive uh, testing techniques for uh, hypertension and transplant rejection. I get the images and I run the analysis on them. I'll pick out all the um, data that we want and I'll put it into a, a, a spreadsheet and then after that we'll run it through a data analysis program to look for trends and look how closely our results match other results and, and results from the cath lab. So my, my research really isn't, uh, I guess, the typical undergraduate research experience. Um, as you can see, I wear a suit. I didn't just put this on for the interview. I wear it every day. I do purely clinical research. Uh, there's no chemicals. There's no lab rats. There's no titrations. Uh, I really analyze the images that were collected by the sonographers in the hospital. And so I guess in that sense, it's not the typical experience, but um, one that I still enjoy. He's two levels below the people that would normally be working with me. He's, he's going to get into med school, but uh, um, when he gets into med school, he'll become a resident. And after he completes residency, he'll become a cardiology fellow. So normally that's the stage that people get to work with me so they can understand what I do. But he's actually sort of uh, systematically I um, learned a lot of things that will put some of those more senior uh, trained people to shame. So I'll hop on the bus and take the 40 minute trek down to the city. Uh, I'll walk either over to this office or I'll meet uh, Dr. Agayankin in one of his clinics either on the 8th or 19th floor uh, of the hospital. And uh, if I'm here, I'll I uh, have a, a set of patients that I need to review their cases. So I'll pull up the images, collect the data, enter it, and we'll go through that until we get you know, a certain amount that we can then process. If I'm in the clinic, I'll kind of be shadowing Dr. Aguyankin, seeing what he's doing. If I come during lunchtime or dinner time, Dr. O and I will grab lunch together and kind of discuss where our research is going to be going, what the next steps are, um, if there's any roadblocks or hurdles that we need to overcome. And then after I put in a few hours, I'll hop back on the shuttle, go back to life as an undergrad, and uh, start doing some homework. Certainly in, in biomedical engineering, uh, the engineering of the body and everything related to the body. So I've definitely taken classes related to anatomy, and I've learned a lot of the mechanical properties behind what we're studying. So I think the, the real crosstalk between my major and, and what we're studying is uh, I'll see how the heart's pumping and not just think of it as, as human tissue. I'll think of it more of as mechanical system and kind of look at it from that perspective. The, the thing that I enjoy most, I think overall, is just that I'm contributing in a positive way to uh, cutting edge research that is going to hopefully impact people's lives in a positive way. And doing this as, a, as an undergraduate, I think, will open a lot of doors uh, in my later career. And it has also exposed me in a great way to the medical field and also given me a better sense of what to expect.